Hey guys, Adam here from Dueling Design, and this is gonna be my second tech tip video. It's gonna be focusing on anti-spatter spray for plasma cutting. I, I really like this Walter E-Weld 4. I get it from fireballtool.com. Uh, Jason over there did uh, a big comparison of like 40 different brands of weld spatter for welding, and this one, so I got it when I got some of my Fireball Tool stuff that you see. And I, one night, was playing with this. I cut a lot of aluminum with my fine cuts, and I know you're not supposed to, but I do it anyway, because I really like the cut quality. I get like, I, I can take them off the table, 16 gauge aluminum, take it off and it looks like a laser cut it, and I don't have to wipe anything off the back and I love it. But I was killing a lot of, of fine tip consumables. So one night I was just down here and I thought, ah, what the heck, I'll spray some of this on it. Because it, it, it looked like the, it looked like they kept exploding out of, out of the ends here. I got one, got one right here. It was doing this, you know, they were like exploding. And I thought, okay, I think something is like sticking to it. So I took this and a microfiber, sprayed some on the microfiber. And then I just kind of, I just kind of like did this where I sprayed it. I didn't want to get any down in the hole. I was, I wasn't sure how it would affect if you know it'd make an explosion or something in the tip and blow the tip out um but then i cut and i cut and i cut and i cut and i think i extended my my consumable life like four times over it just blew me away i have been cutting 3 8 steel with not this one with this with a 65 amp and it still looks beautiful I've been cutting it for months and months and months and my 3 8 steel cuts are, have just been phenomenal. And so it's been working on steel, it's been working on aluminum. And so I will just, now I'll just, I'll just coat the thing. I'll kind of hold it upside down and spray that. I'll spray it all up in there real nice. And then I'll just kind of wipe the excess around on a fairly clean microfiber. Just so there's not liquid up in the orifice there and then i kind of let it dry on on the on the outside here and plug it in and then i will take it and i'll spray the whole top of the surface just like a few few little sprays you know wipe her down and i've just been getting phenomenal cuts so give that a try some Walter E-Weld 4, or just some anti-spatter spray. I, I'm sure other stuff works. Guys use WD-40 and, and things of that nature too, but this is, this is that 65 I was talking about. This thing's still round, still looks beautiful. This has been cutting 3.8 steel for months. And I don't know. I, I mean, I have pretty good air. I have a nice little air dryer set up over here. And, you know. I got dry, I got filters, regulators, all the stuff, but I just wasn't getting that cut quality or that consumable life that I was hoping for. So that made one of the biggest differences on my plasma cutting was I spray the plate with it, I spray the consumables with it, the nozzles, and I don't know, see how it works for you. Thanks for watching, bye.